Even though Cabal's busted guys and, well, yeah, literally, like, broken and busted as far as MK11 goes, I can still see through the broken character that he's a, actually a pretty good player, man. He's at MK11. He's definitely one of the best. What to do, YouTube? I am back with episode 13 of the Inside My Mind series, and I am finally doing my set with Scorpion Prox. He double eliminated me, long story short, but both of the sets were 3-2. Um, if you guys didn't know, he eliminated me. Scorpion Prox eliminated me from Common Breaker at third place him and his brother got first and second he eliminated me and i was playing johnny cage at that tournament and johnny cage um he's a very honest character by honest i mean he doesn't bring a whole lot to the table as far as really dumb things that he can do to you kodal's pretty dumb character um so i was like you know let me pick kodal because they're playing cabal bro like i need some dirt but as you see this is actually the first time i've ever um played as fujin in the tournament like in tournament they usually always just go Cabal straight out the gate versus me. So maybe he saw I picked um Kodal and was like, let me let me try this Fujin real quick. You can tell he was nervous. He got raw. He got down back too. He had to be a little nervous. Bro. Oh my god. And I dropped it, bro. Yeah, let me go back, because I honestly don't know why I dropped that. Like I called the dash out, the dash up. Oh, I didn't even get the dash. Okay, so I I did 3-4, didn't get the dash, so I just straight up dropped it. Okay, I won the round anyway. So I actually played very different in this set in comparison to how I played in the final set. I actually think I might have took the tournament if I just simply switched stages, because you'll see in the grand final stage, the stage that we're playing on, man, it gave Cabal so much more access to doing annoying jump-ins. This Fujin was getting kind of kind of rolled, though. One thing I admire about Prox is um, his composure, man. I think his, I think he has a little bit more composure than his brother, um, and I think that's what separates them just a little bit, little bit. I think they're both extremely like almost equal, but yeah. I was up 1-0 and. This round was looking good. I was actually up on Scorpion Prox a lot in the sense that I lost. It's just like maybe just a few key decisions got me killed. Just a few jump-ins, man. See, like, even this first set, even though I played, I feel like, in my opinion, a little bit worse than the grand final set. I'm up 1-0, and I could have made it 2-0 right here. I was trying not to get overzealous with too many totem summons, because even just one totem gives me a whole bunch more damage. That was so good. Yeah, see, like, this round went, this went from a game that I very well could have won to, like, this is looking grim. See, a lot of these things, like, a lot of these hits I'm getting, I couldn't get with the launcher variation of Kotal. So, like, I, that's my favorite variation, but... And I actually think that's the better one, but the totem one is just honestly, bro. He, I just knew he was going to throw loot me to death, and I, I had no choice but to let him, bro. I had no choice. Like, I had no choice, bro. That was such a good interrupt. That was so bad. Bro, Prox is a maniac, bro. I, I was like, damn, he's a man. Doing down one on hit in the 4 2 is pretty much, it's honestly so much better than just doing down one on hit in the stand one. Because every time I try to, to jail my down one on hit with a stand one, he like flaws like up to me. But 4 2, like it kind of, it was jailing him. It wasn't jailing him, but it was giving him a window to jump. So he's getting hit. Ooh. And I took the wrong way. I don't even know what happens, bro. Yeah, he just committed, boy. Yeah, he just read that I would just get hit. I think if I would have won this set, I would have been in such prime time position to take it all. Because I'm really good in winners. Oof. Yeah, I was forced. I was forced to keep taking backwards because I had he had escape failed on me so next back throw would kill like not kill but it would do like 30 so I was kind of forced yeah he was so good at that during this set man he was so good at that 
And then he jumped the command grip. He was playing really good. I give him that. Let's fast forward to that grand final set, though. Fast forwarding to this grand final set, I played, in my opinion, way cleaner, way better. I was um, not getting hit for as much, but this stage, bro. Look at the stage. He had, so basically, the reason why this stage is annoying is because Cabal is already a character right there. He showed me his card in the first, like, basically in the first five seconds of the match and i didn't i didn't think to change it because just as fast as he did it it just went out my my mind that fast like a lot of people apparently were telling me to change the stage but i didn't think to because like well for one i didn't hear them because i had a headset on and for two like when you're in like the moment you kind of just like you're kind of i had tunnel vision like i was just focused on one thing and i was just like playing But yeah, the reason the stage is annoying, of course, because Cabal is already primarily like in the air, and he's already a character that's like insanely hard to anti-air. If you guys like, I don't know if you guys realize, like I'm not anti-airing a lot because it's hard to. It's like actually hard to, because if I get stuffed, I lose 40. But this stage is annoying because there's two interactables that he can jump off of. And he can not only jump off of them, but then he can do a slight guess. That was the same. So right here the read right i did one two micro duck one two fatal blow because i think i remember in in winter semi-final i did one two stagger and he just straight up swung he just swung and killed me for it so i was kind of hoping he would do the same thing here i would summoned a totem just for extra damage just in case and then he got me to fatal blow look at how quick that decision was he he did four two two and it dealt just enough chip to give me fatal blow i don't have fatal blow right now look fatal blow he's gonna give me fatal blow like right here and then i'm like oh i'm gonna kill this guy I'm a totem. Thank you for Fatal Blow, Micro Duck. That hurt. That just that just gave me like that just even the health lead like off one hit. I almost got punished right there. He actually punished me for that in the first hit. So oh my gosh. I remember this. I got the hit anyway and won, but right here, I made a clutch micro duck read, duck the grab, and he broke. I could have armor broke him off of this, but I was thinking I'm gonna do stand one into it because he's good enough to think I'm not gonna break right here. I'm gonna instantly die if he goes for sword, but he broke. I was actually gonna do stand one sword just in case he tried to, to not break immediately, but he broke immediately and I was like, holy shit, he really broke. If I had a bar, he was dead, but didn't. Yeah, that was, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know why he did that. Like, I'm, I'm guessing he anticipated me, like, starting to run away, but, or maybe trying to summon Totem, I don't know. And then I just started getting jump kicked and almost lost. Yo, that command grab is death. If anybody's wondering why I didn't just go ballistic with the command grabs, because when that shit whiffs, you're guaranteed death. Yo, my man is jump in. Look at how many times he was trying to hold up and read that command grab. Oh my. He whiffed 1-1 one, one and still managed to react to fall off my forward too. So good. Even though Cabal is busted, guys, and, well, yeah, literally, like, broken and busted, as far as MK11 goes, I can still see through the broken character that he's a, actually a pretty good player, man. He's at MK11. He's definitely one of the best at the moment. Yeah, I kept getting hit trying to micro duck. Like, I literally didn't want to get grabbed, so he was punishing me for, like, 35, 40, for trying to re-grab. Yeah, he's just jumping me like crazy. Yeah, he jumped like crazy that game. I love how much damage that command grab does. So the reason I blocked right there is because sometimes I usually would summon a totem right there and I, I read that he would possibly call it out with a nomad dash or just a straight up jump in and he actually did. And right there I read that he would break so I just wanted to get a free totem. Death. That was a great round. Any round that I won seemed pretty, pretty good, man. They did like 20% too. 
I have such a massive health lead here too. And then, oh my gosh, that was such a good uppercut. I was literally waiting for him to jump because I was like, at this point, a down two, that'll hurt. Like, it'll my kill. I try to put up Sun because at that point he would have just died from Sun, but I did it too late. He hit me right there, didn't commit, and I air to aired him. That was so clutch. That actually does a lot of chip. That, sim that one jump and killed me, man. That 4 2 killed me, and he didn't even have to spend the KB, and it killed. He dropped the combo. Instantly get my poke whiff punished. So I basically didn't play this game just as much as I didn't let him play the last game. <laughs> And then my grab didn't reach. I was trying to get that reset, boys. <laughs> I finally read the damn jumping, bro. Like, I was trying. It was so risky to do what I just did. I basically just dashed up and did an, a super unsafe move. Praying he jumped back because he just kept jumping back. And it worked. And if I, if you anti-air, I think if you anti-air with, with the sword, I don't know if it's if you anti-air or counter hit, but you get KB, so... He had a sick conversion and then a and then a sick KB call out. I started off the round so strong, but I don't think I've really gotten a hit since that. Since that, to be so that may seem like a pretty preemptive fatal blow, but in my opinion, it was a good one because it literally puts him in one touch territory. Like, look, 31. All I need is two totems, and he's dead if I hit him. And then I misplaced it, and he jumped. Prime example of why I should change that stage. I just ate 40 for doing a block string. That is actually the only way you can get out of that block string is with an interactable. You can't flaws block it, and you can't you can't um, fatal blow it or nothing. Right there, I didn't do the disc because I I was I just I didn't want to die for it. And then right here, I don't know what he did. I think he might have just woke up, jump, because he didn't even get counter hit, but he didn't block. Man, that was the first time I did forward one two disc, and I even did it the meterless version. If you guys don't know, the the meterless version and the ex version are a little bit of a different timing. And he still flawless blocked it, bro. That was the first time I did that. So forward one two disc has a gap. You can flawless block up to it. We all know that. But that was the first time I did it. This is very doable still, actually. Like, especially since I'm codal with to totems. I have a good amount of health. Well, of course, I'm still dead off one touch. I need to touch him like twice. And he has to hit me like once. But still doable. And then you got that dumb interactable. These two dumb interactables I have to worry about that are right next to each other. At this point, I don't even want to try to anti her because if I get stuffed. And then he just jumped back at the right time again. Bro, I was getting killed for from these jump-ins. It was like I was blowing him up for jumping, but at the same time, he was blowing me up for doing for, uh, for back for four twoing. I really could have made this comeback even with this amount of health because I had two defensive bars. And I had totems, but I had 15 seconds left on the clock. So right there, I got hit trying to floss block up to this the um the buzz saw because that was pretty much the only way I was gonna punish it. Pretty anticlimactic. Yep. So congratulations to Scorpio Prox. He played really well. Um, I know Cabal is busted and we you know and everything, but you know he still I can't say a lot of Cabal's that day would have beat me with how well I was playing with Kotal, and he double eliminated me. And, you know, just congrats to the new Evo champion, man. And I hope to see him um, do this well in the next game for sure because i am always welcome new players, especially new players that have clear talent. So, GG's to that, man. That's going to wrap up the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a sub to the channel, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.